It is one o'clock. I am calling. <laughs> Sheriff, would you come arrest Judge Howe? He's got all these <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is now one o'clock, and I'm going to call to order our special called meeting of the Hood County Commissioners Court. Today is Thursday, October the 28th, 2021. It's 1 p.m. We're in the Hood County Justice Center, the Hood's the central jury room here at 1200 West Pearl Street in Granbury, Texas. Purpose of this. Agenda here today is to receive and provide information, evaluate demographics, and take action to establish criteria for redistricting and taking possible action regarding redistricting of county political boundaries. And we have today from Allison Bass, an attorney, John, who's well known to, I think, most all the commissioners at least here, to come up here, discuss this with us, and provide us with some options to bring everybody in line with the population census, correct? Correct, uh, and thank you, Judge Massengill and commissioners. It's an honor to be here before you. And uh, I believe you've received the uh, initial assessment from our office, and you've had a chance to look at the maps. And you got the mic on? Maybe I'm just not, not talking right into it. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, and hopefully you've had a chance to look over those and you've reviewed and, and seen that you're you're a little out of balance and you're uh, to such an extent that it does require uh, you're legally required to redistrict so uh, if you haven't already done so which I don't believe you have we would need to take up today uh, a motion to to redistrict and uh, consider that um, I can go ahead and just put the map up and we can start talking about it uh, and and uh, if y'all don't mind I probably be best for me to do that from the table where I can stay connected okay yes thank you yeah pull the mic closer to you if you would please so that we go on the record how's that okay, okay. Yes. Oh, there it goes. All right, so here is uh, what is your existing precinct boundaries. And this, this has your 2020 uh, census population data put in. Um, you can also see uh, these are your election precinct numbers here uh, and I have tried to show where your elected officials home addresses are and your polling place addresses but for some reason I don't know if maybe we did not receive those from your elections administrator or if, if it's a failure on our part, but I don't have those. They're showing up in the neighboring counties, but they're not showing up in Hood County. And I've called our, our technical person to see if we can work on that. But uh, we, I think we can still proceed with talking about where you guys would like to draw your lines, but we need to be cognizant of, of course, elected officials' uh, addresses, just, just uh, you know, precinct-type offices like commissioner, constable, JP, uh, you don't have to worry about countywide, obviously, but um, so if you look up in this corner here where I'm pointing, this shows you how far from a, an ideal sized precinct, which is just your total population divided by four, uh, this is how far you are from uh, being balanced. So in one, you're 1,390 people too to light, and then in two, you are 382 people too small, 3, 13, 38 too many, and 632 too many, and 4. So then your percentage uh, is, is reflected here. Um, so um, I'm 
open to any uh, suggestions that you guys have. Um, if I could, just talk. Just somewhat frankly to the court, the, the legislature and its benevolence has given us about uh, two, two weeks to get this done, get this passed, get a, a, a plan adopted, which has to be done at a public hearing and for which you, the court has to give, we, we ask that you, you give 10 days to just to, to be on the safe side. There's no statutory uh, date requirement of the, of the amount of notice, but so we're up against a tremendous timeline and um, given that the census data was released so late this year. So I would just ask for, yes, sir. We need to get, get your, post a public hearing and publish the notice in the newspaper. So, so preferably by 10 days. I mean, we can only do what we can do, but that, that would be the goal. So today we're just going to try to come up with agree drawn that we, we can agree on, and, but we still got to publish it and have a hearing. Is that correct. what you, I mean, I'm trying to understand what our goal is for today. For today, we need to take up, you know, of course, the issue of whether or not you want, you are going to redistrict, which you don't have much choice, but we just need to get a vote on that and get that passed, get that order passed, and then start evaluating your your lines and shifting them around. And I just would like to get a feel from the court how you'd like to move those, and because I, ha I don't know a whole lot about Hood County, and um, I know y'all didn't know a whole lot about it, so I just, uh, it's kind of a work session where we can try some different solutions, maybe. So can we start by making a motion that we're going to redistrict? That'd be great to get uh, that out of the way. I'll second. Yeah. I'll second. You make the motion? Yeah. Okay. I'll second. A motion been made by Commissioner Cotton to redistrict according to the new population census, second by Commissioner Eagle. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries five to zero to redraw. redistricting. So. Yes, sir. Thank you. And I should have su uh, supplied an order to you if you don't have that. Uh, if you'll you'll let me know, but I should I can get that to you just momentarily. But um, so that that having been that little matter of housekeeping been done, uh, we can set about talking about where you'd like to move your lines if that's what the court would like to do. Okay. Or any, any other you. questions? Sure. Yeah. Is this like an interactive thing where we can say, okay, take this area right here, put that in precinct one. And, and it shows us the numbers instantaneous as we... Correct. I'm just okay. kind of here to steer and see what could work, what wouldn't work, given the legal parameters. And uh, yes, sir, I'd be happy to do that as long as it takes. Okay. And if we pass this and say this is what we'd like to do, and the commissioner's court bless it, then you still have to post notice and then have a public hearing so that the public's invited and then have another vote after the public Precisely. has an opportunity to speak? Precisely, Judge, yes, sir. Okay. Does the public have the right to speak today before we do this in this special called meeting? Yeah, I would say absolutely. If they'd like to participate, I think that's it's we need their participation if they're willing right. to provide it. Okay, so if there's anyone here in the audience that would like to participate, if you the sheriff has public participation forms, if you will fill them out, hand them to the sheriff, sheriff will hand them to Miss Lang and mark them and bring them up here. So if anybody would like to speak, please fill out the public participation form. So we've all kind of talked except me, I think, to you, but everybody has come to spoken to you. Does anybody have just a proposal to say where we can go into as to how we're going to do this? Uh, I've, I've got a suggestion. Okay. After talking to Commissioner Wilson just now, uh, you know, you and I spoke when I was down at the conference a couple of weeks ago because we weren't aware who was going to be handling it till I, till uh, Mr. Bass said you were you were our guy uh, but you know you and me and matt mills our county attorney spoke about this monday but it appears to me or, or this is a suggestion one of the things that we've agreed on uh, somewhat somewhat is there's a strip 
that's in Jack in uh, Commissioner Wilson's precinct that he showed me today that we and I think we even proposed this when we spoke to put over to uh, Commissioner Andrews precinct what I would propose is to make that move first and then we see and see where the numbers are and kind of do them my proposal be kind of do them one at a time until we get the numbers right I agree that might be a good starting point. Is that? Is and that you right? heard this, everybody. They agreed with me, so we're good. <laughs> Put that on the record. <laughs> okay, I, I'll take that. I'm agreeing with them, so that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to say that it is a reasonable proposal as well. Okay. So, <laughs> so that you know that strip up, up north of 377. Jack's going to point. Are you going to right here? Out? Right here. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Right yes. here. Sure. Right. Right there. All right, I can zero in on that. And you're proposing uh, taking that that ground out of precinct three and putting it into one. Yes, correct? yes, sir. Right. So that means got everything. Two. This area right here, which is everything north of 377, in my path. This is the shores. This is a. There's some four apartment complexes in here. And move all of that all the way to here. And all of this. And move that to precinct one. Okay, let me. And then reset the numbers. That's 744 people. So let's see, test your math here. In this box that shows the amount of people in that uh, red area. So the, those would be moved uh, from, well, the line would be moved. So um, that gives you an idea. And before I do that, just keep in mind your deviation uh, here. So you'll see once I accept this change, you'll see these numbers change. OK? Uh, oh, OK. All right. So uh, that gets us to that got that got one a little bit closer. So and, and keep in mind also, I don't think I touched on this. Now that you've ordered ordered to redistrict, the ten percent is out the window. Now we have to get to below five percent, okay, from your biggest to your smallest. All right, so that's the goal. And we'd love it if you you know get get real close to zero, but sometimes that's not possible. And sometimes you you know you might keep in mind that you could it, since it looks like uh, is it you got you got three that's really growing correct so you may underload that just a little bit you can't underload it too much but you can think about that see but the growth you know the future growth I mean three has been growing by leaps and bounds no argument. But now the future growth is going to be in, in Toler and in Lipan. You know, that's where <clears> the growth is moving to. And that's in. And if I understand uh, correctly, you know, it could be slightly under because that's where the growth's going to be. But it, now if we look at. Sorry. Still one and two are still in the minus now. Right. Yeah. Okay. Could, could I have your pointer and I'll show you the. To this area right in here, please. If we take whatever the numbers are, here's loop five, six, seven, right here, and we take you know some of this and move to one, and then that will allow, even if he goes slightly over, then there's some area down on the bottom of one, down below, that could be moved into two, and that should balance it pretty close out. Okay, so. Can you save that one right now that you've got in case we have to go back and? I've got it accepted. I can undo it. Okay. Uh, let me actually. Didn't... And Jack, uh, Commissioner Wilson, if we could start, if with your, you know, if we could start at let 51 be the, let's start at 51 and go to the left and see where that gets us, okay. and then we'll work our way around the loop. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I, 30. Say that one more time. <clears throat> okay. Here's 51 right here. 
Yeah, that whole so triangle. All of this, you know, into one. All right, so we're all of that up to the river, you know, to one. Right. <coughs> You're talking about this? There you go. Higher? All right, that's What's that little that? island up there? Well, it's just a yeah, zero. There you go. <laughs> Is that up to Andrew's court? It's, it's yeah. up to the loop right there on loop 567. It's, it's, it's all the land of, of the, the old uh, uh, Peck Durant's place, which is now Jerry Durant. Would that include Summerlin? No. This is That's Summerlin Drive right there. Is that on the side? Go ahead and that put is that right there. <coughs> Summerlin between Andrews 4 and 51, yeah. To Garcia's. No, this so, is over to Broadway. So it's let me. Garcia's to Broadway. One at a time, would you? What was that, Commissioner Garcia's to. Broadway, 51? Broadway Express over there, 51, yeah. Correct. The lake will be the dividing line to 51. So that's 363 folks there. Can I still have coffee? Well, now we've got. Here? And you're getting one in four. 100 that's been moved to Precinct 1. Right there. Total of 1,100 moved to precinct one right there. So I'd say, you know, if you could, if you could, yeah, that's a pretty good progress right there. So where, where, where's the final? Where are the numbers at now? I don't see a. You had pushed the button yet? Oh. So I haven't, I haven't accepted that change yet. But let, and I see I've got a little piece of uh, hey, map, a map here. Map. What about just a? Can you scroll south a little bit right there? Sure. Just a. There's a couple of little pieces right in there yeah. between four and fifty-one. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. You can take that too. Those be one also. Let's stay on the side of Highway Four. Yeah. So that gets you up to four nineteen. So click it. Hold on, is that? Yeah. <laughs> Calculate it. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's your okay. Yeah. Doggy. All right. That's so, twelve sixty-three. So y'all are comfortable with that for now? That's twelve sixty-three. And no progress. And in either of these, Kevin's taking over. Is what happened. What and in either of these, are you aware of any elected uh, addresses? I don't think so. No, sir. Okay. Okay. Constable. Well, you, nothing, right? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to accept that. So that brings four and one quite a bit closer to where they need to be. In fact, five percent between those two. Well, let's see. So your biggest one is is three now at two point five six, and your smallest is two at. So you're just over five percent. What if you took some out of number one and gave it to two uh, down there towards Comanche Peak? Uh, be on my uh, west side of precinct two and take some of one and get him to a minus and, and maybe get me close to a plus. Uh, we, we could most certainly do that, but. What would that do to us? That's two. Two is not your largest. Three is now, now as it stands, your largest. But but we can do it. We should do it. And I can do that right now. Where were you saying, sir? Uh, let's see. Right. Right. Are you going on the west side? Or are you going on the west side? Or are you going right here? I think they're on the west side. Right here. Just in there. Yeah. Start those down. OK. Let me get set up here. One and two. It's not heavily populated, so. Is this one or this one? That is, that is two. You're taking out of two. We don't want to do that. We'll take it out of one and give it to two. What? What about over here on this side right here, south of Indian Harbor? Would that make more sense? Here by Canyon Creek? Yeah. That 13 and 248 right there. To the east a little bit and down. 
or yeah, down there, 17 or 39. Right there, over yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'd work too. So you want to change this from one to two? Uh, two to yeah. one. Two. Is that right? You're yeah, trying to no, give it to me. Well, are, you, are you taking 13 and 248? Or do you go across the creek? Take away from one and give it to me. Yeah. How many is that? That's uh, 261. How many? 261. One and I'm minus 382 right now. So that that gets you a little. That gets you there. Well, that gets that gets that gets two almost. One two and bring him down to just barely a plus. So that gets two almost dead center, and but it. I mean, I'm sorry. Why is it saying two? Okay. So did it. Did you want me to go further up or? What's the, well, what's the answer to how are we countering this? Because you've still got to give up. A well, little it may bit. not, it may be under five now. You click it and find out. Yeah, click it. <laughs> Wait, but I mean, this is a little, a little jagged here. It's okay, but like all these? And 12. 12, 12 that one. So that gets that gets you even better here. Okay, so y'all want to see what that looks like? Yes. Okay. Right at it, but look at what happened. Number one, though, he's down six hundred and twenty-nine. Yeah. Yeah. Took too much away. I was still a little light, so I don't know if that was the right answer. Are, are, do you I can not, undo that. Are we not wanting to go with two to the east side of the lake, down there south of Day Cordova? Well, the east of take the it. Oh, you saying take it out of three? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Because that's where the sure. that's where the imbalance is still. You can do that. Between three and two. So if we move two to the east, we'll mm -hmm. get three. All right. So I just put it back to where it yeah. was. So kill, kill all that. That didn't work. What are you talking about? Talking about going out of the front gate of Pecan and taking the going there on the other side south. of the other side of the lake to the east, be south of De Cordova. <clears throat> Some of that area there. So, so you're saying it's be hooked up and be contiguous, kind of. You saying scrap scrap this for now? Yeah, I think so. But that took us out of bounds. So we want you to move southeast, southeast. Over here somewhere? Yeah, I was trying to find like that 242 right there. 2215, maybe yeah. even 2 and 20. Because. 2215, 2 and 20. Right here? Uh huh. Because, see, yeah, 2 and 3 need to swap. Yeah. Because that would then take it out of 3 and put it into 2. Yep. I'm sorry, tell me which one again, sir? Take, take those right there. This and one? Put those out of 3 into 2. Okay. Right, right there. Yeah. Yes. Kind of need that 27 right there. Get that little chunk right there. Take it two also. Yeah, that one. Right there. Wait, hold on a second. I'm out of trouble. <clears throat> Is that a strip? Okay. Get that one. Up to two. Now, and then that one over here on the right, the 27. You want 27? Okay. Just kind of square it up on the road. And you could have it follow 167. You need to do 13, so it's following 67, following the highway. You did 13 also. Now we can stay on that. So we're getting, but we're getting one? real close yeah. here. Go getting ahead. real okay. close. Yeah. That way it stays, the boundary stays good. Really close. <clears throat> Get this little three over here on the left, too. Sure, give me some more. <laughs> this is right here. I'm sorry, uh, where? Three. Three. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I think I'd stay north of, or right south here. of that. That's just real close right there. 
What's that little sliver that right there? That's the lake. I just. Oh, that's the lake wall. Yeah. Well, zero. Zero right. I mean, we could change it. Oh, there we go. Got that squared off. What is that boundary? What is this road right here? What are the two roads? That's Ray Road that goes down there by the everything that runs down the old Donialas. All that land rainy north or south of that. And then when you go into the park, that's right there in that curve below his cursor and then to the dam itself. Rollins Road. Rollins Road. Rollins Road. We'll go the ramp that big one over ramp. Mm -hmm. The beach and the ramp. Yeah, right there. That's the that park right yeah, there. right here. Yeah. Yeah. That's too much. Huh. I was looking at those two boxes north of Rollins Road there. Should those just stay in three? Or 14 and 13 right there? Uh, undo that one and that one. Yeah. Undo. Yeah. Probably put that zero back in three. Yeah. Yeah. Click it before they change your mind again. <laughs> well, we're pretty close. Okay, okay. Just remember, if we needed to get a few more, then we might come back to this spot. I don't know. Okay, I accept. So right there, well, we're doing pretty good. Uh, less than five percent between one and four. Really? Yep. And for me to be a little lie, there's going to do if you if you found something in four that you could move to one, it would really balance uh, with two being. Well, we go back to this area right off of 51 inside around the loop right in here. And yeah. Uh, Line now, here. I mean, the thing about 51 is such a clean line, you know. Right, and I agree with that. Well, you got 90 right there and 76. You know, if you take those two. So we're talking about 227 folks, I guess. In Plus. what? Well, where we need to get to, if you were going to get to zero, you got 277, two too few in one. Right. <clears throat> and we need to move about 100 people, don't you? Yeah. 100, 100 people out of four to. 90 and the 76 is 166. 18 to 190. Yeah, I mean, right now your, your plan good would right now. your plan would are pass. We, are we legal right now? Yes, sir. Five percent, huh? Yes, sir. I don't think yes, please. If anybody has any objection, I'd call it good right there. I'm good, sir. Yeah. We're legal and we, everything. We meet all the parameters we need to meet. Yeah. You know. Good. You guys are not this easy. You're not this good. We tried to give Jack the pods, but he didn't want them, so. All right. Hot and how do you still want to speak after hearing all this? You know, I, when it was all in my understanding that you had to move complete boxes, you couldn't break up a voting box. Is that right? Ask him. That's what we did. Okay. Okay. All right. So, but, and I didn't put down a comment, but I do have a comment, and it was brought up by all of y'all. There's no clear boundaries, so. That when you're doing this, you have to remember them guys driving around out there in them cars and writing tickets in precincts, they have to know what precinct that is. So you have to have a clear road. This side of this road is this precinct, this side of this road is this precinct, or else our, our system is messed up because they're writing tickets to people and putting them in Martin's court that are supposed to be in my, my court or, you know, Judge Gwynn's court or, you know, or Dub's court. I'm so which, which one's not clear to you? Well, no, I'm just saying that was brought up. So if when y'all are not, when y'all are moving them, make sure that we have something that delineates those precincts for those officers to understand. That's all I'm asking. I'm not saying that I was confused. I'm just saying that that's, that's something that has to be considered. The, 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 
precinct line can't go through the middle of some guy's pasture. Right. Yeah, I, I agree with you. That's why, for me, for instance, up north, I wanted to see 51 move, my, get, you know, move my stuff over where 51 is a sure. clean line. You know. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, that's the only thing. Make it, make it easier for them guys trying to do their job every day. Well, right where it is right now, Judge Howe. Yes, sir. Can you explain it? Do you understand what oh, it yeah. is? I mean, I, I was following where y'all were going. It yeah. Was just, you know, you, we were starting to go, well, there's 56 people here and there's 90 over here, and we're pretty close with, with some lines. Yeah, that's players, what I mean. So. Right here, we're within the legal parameters. Sure. sure. And mean, it's pretty. 2%, you, you're under 2% everywhere, so looks good to me. Okay. Now, but are y'all sure now? You're sure? Uh, I'm not a perfectionist, but there's one thing. Let's go back and look at that down here, that little zero right there that we changed from three to two. Tell me where. Uh, yeah, yeah, down in there. Thank you. Right there, should you cut and leave north of 167? Oh, I see. Keep the line of 167. That's a good point. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Keep the. So take. Can you take that zero out? Yes, sir. All right, two. No, it stays on 167. We're so good. We're fighting over the zeros now. <laughs> good call. Yeah, this is not where I saw this heading today. I tell you. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's that. Yeah, I think that's a cleaner. We're still, cleaner. We're still under 5%. We got 227 for one and. But we're le less than 3%, right? Yeah. You're just about three points between one and four. Is there any way y'all would want to try to balance that one and four out a little bit? Well, did we change any of the like precinct chairs or anything like that? Do you know? David Fisher, you wanted to speak. Does that affect any precinct chairs that you know um, about? Actually, that's that's what I wanted to say. Um, some of the things we were talking about earlier in the week, with I uh, talked to some of you, might have left a precinct chair split across precincts. Please don't do that. What you know, when you get through this, then you're going to have to, you're going to have to tie in all the precincts, the voting precincts. Please don't split a pre a voting precinct across your precincts. Does that make sense? Like we were well, talking about, maybe 13 to be split reason. across one and, and and three, and we don't want that. No, I think. Oh, we'll have to move we, the we'll have to move the voting precinct. Yeah, and that's fine. One and expand another. That'll be yeah. fine. Okay. As, yeah. as long as you don't don't have one that spans two. No, we're not. That's not the plan. perfect. Thank you. Okay. Sir. Do you did you see any 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 of these changes that might go around? I don't think so. I, I I think, think that these will be the, fine. I don't know where all the precinct chairs live, but I. None of these look like they're going to cause any problem for me at all. What I'll, what I'll try to do, to, I didn't mean to interrupt you, um, is get the dang addresses to show up on your polling places because we, we want to avoid shifting those around, I believe. No, I, I'm very happy I think they're this. okay because we're a vote center, right? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. we're a vote center county, so. Yeah. We are. We are. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is going to be great. Thank you very much. Okay. And I like, I like. I care if you've got another public participant. Because yeah, I like the 160, I like the major right. roads. Exactly. Yeah. Which is what Judge Cotton wanted. I, like, you know. Another Dollar General. <laughs> okay. One more speaker, Michelle Carew. Good afternoon, everybody. The one thing that I'd like to point out about the redistricting process, I think you guys should reconsider numbering your um, voting precincts because we have voters that come in all the time who are confused about which 
commissioner precinct they're in. So if I can make a suggestion for you, I've lived in a county before, like if they lived in precinct one, then their precinct number started with the one. So they started like at 100 and they did five, like five increments. So 100, 105, 110, 115. If they're in precinct two, they did the same thing, 200, 205, 210, 215. I think it would be helpful to the voter if you guys would consider renumbering your voting precincts. Because a lot of times they'll come in and they say, hey, I live, I live in Precinct 4, but they don't live in Precinct 4. They're just confused because they're in voting Precinct 4, but they might not be in Commissioner Precinct 4. So I think that's something that you guys should really take into consideration is renumbering your voting precincts. Question? Okay. Sure. Can you letter them? A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Because that people, Precinct 3 is in, yeah, there, there's some yeah. different ones. Yeah. Well, I believe you have to maintain a number. The only way you would do a letter is if it was like a precinct divided in half. Right. So if if you have like X amount. Yeah. Because now yep. like we we're just talking about how that's going to change. That's going to help by having that number. Yep. So are you saying like if you're in precinct three, it would be? It would start with a three. Start with three and then however many. Right. So if there's, if you guys each have four each, then you could have like 300, 325, 37, you know, like as long as it's in the same amount of increments, yeah. 300, 305, 310, 315, then that way the voter knows that they're in Commissioner Precinct 3 rather than, oh, they live in 16, or where is 16? You know, there's not any guessing. Like it's easy to tell and it won't be as confusing for them. That's a good idea. And 16 is going to have to be split because it's got so massive. Well, then you could do it, um, an A or a B on that. Actually, uh, 16 was pecan only. It is. Pecan. Now it's pecan. Hey, uh, there was talk you. Can you come up to the mic and that way we can get there? <laughs> and I can't tell you how many times I've had people come in and say I'm in precinct four, but they mean well, just what you said. Right. So that's, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah, there was talk four, four or six years ago because of the masses in pecan, that one box of having to split it because there's, at that time was like almost 7,000, and I want to say now you might be pushing 8,000 people alone in one voting precinct that is a very active voting, and there was talk about dividing that to two voting precincts, and now you've got some room now with some of that with what you've just taken in. So, so that's you, another you could consideration. Put a letter after that. If there's a precinct that needs to be split that way, you could call it like, I'm making a number up because I... I'm not that familiar with it. So instead of being like um, 300, it could be 300B or 300A because then you have a split. That's when you would want to add a letter at the end. But to help to avoid confusion with the voters, I think it would be ideal to renumber voting precincts. I agree with that. So, well, Mr. Attorney, is that something we can do as well while we're at this? I believe what we can do is whenever you adopt your plan for your precinct boundaries, we can do a supplemental order regarding only the voting uh, precincts. And we've got till 10 days or whenever we do the next hearing to figure all that, figure that out, right? Correct, and, and I, can, I can check the procedure on that, but I think that we can do it simultaneously with your public hearing. So, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Um, <clears throat> I was just looking while, while, she, while uh, what about this little horn here? Between one and four, is there? I want to keep that like that. Well, we could find what 200 people there, maybe. I don't know. Just an idea. Yeah. Uh, well, to leave the JP court, it the Pino JP court Pinocchio. is right there in that corner. So oh, it might, okay, it that's might probably make it why. Weird if yeah. It's, yeah. You know, gotcha. And that's why two is up into one there too. So. Well, let's leave well enough alone then. All right. Yeah, that, that's the way the government does. Fix it till it's broke. I think we're good. So. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so our, our next scheduled commissioner's court is on November the 9th. Today's the 28th, so if you start with tomorrow, that's 11 days from now. Is that enough time if we put it on our regular scheduled um, second Tuesday court to pass this? Let me, or let is me, that, give me just one moment, Judge. Let me get my calendar uh, up here. Okay. 
you said 10 days, that would be 11 days. That would be but great. We have 15. Y'all just wanted a cushion. Yes, sir. Didn't you? So if we'd put it on the, on the agenda for Tuesday, November the 9th. Does that have to be published in the newspaper? Like Saturday? Uh, Does that have to be published? To 10 days, so 10 days would be right. Saturday's edition, I guess. I don't know. Close. Well, no. maybe. We could get no. it. It's too late. They've changed their yeah. deadline. So their deadline for this upcoming Saturday is right But now. see, we could get it in the paper for Saturday, November the 6th. You could do it on Wednesday. We'll do it on Wednesday the Wednesday third. the 3rd or whatever yep. that is. The, Does it have to be in the paper 10 days early? Or yes. Just, yeah. The 3rd's way too early. Wait. I'd say, you know, maybe like Thursday, the 12th, Friday. Or we just have to have a special meeting for, that. Yep. Yeah, for just that. What's the day? I mean, is the 15th the magic day or? 17th is the magic day, but I mean, I'd hate to wait till the last day in case something came up or somebody changed their vote or. Uh, the 11th or 12th, either one, that special call. Do you can do it any time, even in five o'clock whatever um i probably can't be here for it um, but i'll make sure that you have everything you need and i'll be available if any questions arise but we need a give me a little time because i mean i've got a lot i got a lot of work to we'll do put hood county first hood oh, county. yes sir yes. Johnson Top county five. be right behind yeah. us yeah you Johnson. can't leave here till you fix this so yeah here <laughs> Here, today's the 28th, but our newspaper only comes out Wednesdays and Saturdays. Uh -huh. So we can't get it in on Saturday. I guess we could get it in the earliest is Wednesday, November the 3rd. Yes. So that's the earliest it could be in the paper. So the deadline for the paper, if you want to have it in Wednesday, you have to have it in Monday by 10 o'clock. And so the deadline for the Saturday was today at 10 o'clock. Okay. Well, I missed that. So if we got it in the paper... On the third, <coughs> then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be like right we got to do it on Monday, don't we? Is that your regular meeting or no? Nope. No, but it doesn't matter if we got to do it. The ninth is our next uh, commissioner's court. But you can make a special call meeting on the fifteenth or sixteenth, either one. Well, you, you wanted an earlier, so I guess we could do Looks it. Looks like you're in Johnson date. County Monday, so you know, we, might, we might do Tuesday. Uh. Well, I was hoping I wouldn't actually have to be there, but <laughs> yes, it's a possibility I could be in the vicinity. Well, or we could do it in the afternoon, since you're in the area anyway, just drive from. You can't do it one o'clock. One o'clock again. Yeah, we can do yep. that. What, the 15th? Yes, sir. Yeah. On the, on the but, 15th. yeah. Is it a hearing, or is it just a. To vote it's a on public it. hearing. I mean, it's it's really a more of a formality uh, than anything. But it, you know, it's to receive public comments and then vote on whether to adopt the plan. It's going to have to be a special called meeting so that we can have the public input. Then, you know, call the special commissioners' court, convene into a public hearing, have the discussion among the public, then reconvene back into the commissioners' court and then vote on it. Yes, sir. So, Precisely. That's what we're going to have to do. The 15th at 1 o'clock. Right. So we need to make sure it's going to be in the paper on the 3rd. So Which we means need you got to get it, it the to them by. And what I'll Monday do, Judge. 10 a.m. What I'll do, Judge, is right now I'll send you the language for your, your notices, uh, for your posts, for your agenda, and for your publication. Okay, both of them. I'll send those to you right now. Okay. And uh, so you'll have them. Okay. That's the deal. Sure. So you gonna print this off right here? We're gonna vote on this as a no. formality or nothing? What I'm gonna do is uh, no, you don't need to no. vote uh, right now. I'll just what I'll do, what I'll do. Thank you. What I'll do is if you do, you have any type of a uh, 911 or, or yeah. Yeah. person that may have the it's not super sophisticated software but it's just a I need somebody to be able to send this 
to where you know y'all can zoom in on it and stuff like that. But we yes, do. it's saved. I've got it, and we'll get it in a like hard map format Sheriff. for you. Sheriff will give you the address you can send it to. Thank you. I'm charging on the address. Oh, great. You feel all right? I like the lines oh, better complicate things for you too much? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin keeps taking over. Kevin keeps taking over. Also, if, if you have trouble, sometimes the COG people can deal with the files. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, if you probably have some contact. Oh, yeah. yeah. We work well with that. Yeah. So, a lot of problems. So, Kathy Davis is trying to text us. They make good padding behind the picture that I've <laughs> oh, Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ryan. We're going to have to have Jay Wiley to come in there with us, too, to explain what the... Yeah. He's there. Hey, Ms. Carew? Would you? I, I got a question for you. So let's say we do, redid these uh, nomenclature for the voting precincts. What's the deadline for the elections administrator to get it out? Will you have to issue new voting? We already are because we do a mass mail out at the end of the year. So once you guys make this decision, the change can be made in the team system, which is the Secretary of State system, before the cards are printed. So we already have someone who's just waiting for that deadline to hit. And since we're already at that time where there's going to be a mass mail out, it won't be any additional cost to the county because we already have to send it out as it is. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, what was your question? I just wanted to know if if you had the order to redistrict Andy, or I can, or if not, I can maybe get an email to somebody real quick and get a print and drop and sign it. We, yeah, we need to. Motion that we made, is that it? This one? Motion, right? Yes. Yeah. No, this is what we got from you right here, number two. Oh, I, no, I sent an order to, to redraw them. You sent an order? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I never saw an order. No, maybe run on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll stay here. Let's get it done. This is the first motion we took at the beginning of the meeting, is what you're saying, right? Yes, I just want to order yeah. That. I it, uh, okay. Mr. J. Riley, don't run off because we're going to need you for that last item on this meeting, okay? <clears throat> well, it's part of the improvements, I think. Yeah, Mr. Lenny, can you stick around for a while, too? Like I said, in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, can you stick around for a while? All right, I'm going to go ahead and convene right now into executive session and Mr. Remington, you can wait for Ms. Lang here to give you the orders, okay? Thank you. 2.32, we are back on the record. And um, the first thing we have to do is findings of fact we have an order for the redistricting of political boundaries that have been prepared for us by Mr. John Reddington here. It's already been signed by the county clerk. But here it is right here. So this is what we need to have. Does this whole order here need to be put in the paper? No, sir. I'll, I've, I've sent you uh, the language for that paper posting. 
Okay, that's already been sent to my email address, right? This is just the order that we need right now to take a vote on. We just need to sign it, don't we? Uh, no, already voted. You just need to sign it. That's right. Okay. So. And then we need a vote. Do we need? We're going to need a motion now too on the. Did we do the reset for? Uh, did you make a motion? I we made the motion and was second, but I don't know if we took a vote on we having the. Vote. Not, we, we never, never did. We vote. haven't voted on statement. the public hearing because Miss Lang was getting this printed. I believe the right. order, and I didn't want to take a vote with her absent. So the motion has been made by Commissioner Cotton to set a public hearing on this matter for Monday, November the 15th at 1 p.m. Second by Commissioner Wilson. And any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Okay. I guess I'll send it down that way. We've got two orders here. I guess the next order of business is that um, uh, just to do it on the record, we don't need a motion that we will post in the Hood County News on this Wednesday, November the 3rd, the notice of a public hearing that will be held at the uh, specially called commissioner meeting on Monday, November the 15th at 1 p.m. as well. So. That's just something that we're required by law to do, am I not? That's the 10 days prior notice, Mr. Remington? Yes, and of the do. Okay. Okay, with that, I think that takes care of our political redistricting, does it not? As far as you're concerned? Yes, Your Honor, and thank you to you and the court. Okay, well, thank you for coming down and assisting us with this. I'm going to get the maps. I got the sheriff's email. I'm going to give them to him. He'll get them out to everybody in a format that you can use. And if you could, send it to us. Um, I'll send it to you. Steve, yeah. I'd like to get a link that of the maps so that we could put that in the newspaper too so that anybody in the community could look at the map and click onto it and uh, be able to look at so we wouldn't have to be letting everybody study they can study the map well in advance of the meeting on monday the 15th wouldn't you agree with that that'd be great i'll have to figure out how to do that but we'll figure it out well i think our it people I was just about to say, if you could give me a link, um, I'll give you my email address. We can put it on our social media. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, Drew, are you going to get with Mr. Whittington and make sure that that notice in the paper before it gets out will have absolutely. that? Absolutely. When it goes out, we'll put it on all of our social media <clears throat> with the link so they can get in and look and, and see. see everything. Absolutely. Yes, that sir. would be just great. Thank you both for doing that. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Samuelson. It's a good idea. Okay. All right. And, and smoke signals for some. And smoke signals for those who need it. Smoke signals for those who read that. Okay. All right. So that concludes item number two on the agenda. Then item number three is uh, discuss the lease terms for 1322 Biloxi Highway, Granbury, Texas. Do I hear a motion regarding that? Anybody? Anybody, somebody. Please. Somebody, anybody. All right, let me, let me, you, you want to no, go? No, you go take a shot at it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to make a motion that we maintain our the uh, proposed foot square foot rate of 1850 and that the host, the um, tenant take on all the maintenance and the rest in other words a double net triple net triple net and 
That's, I guess that's the motion. I'm making a motion that the lease be, we maintain the 1850 per square foot and they take care of the rest of it. No, a triple net lease. Well, it's not maintained. They're paying 1550 now that the rent be increased to 1850 per square foot and that the lease really remain a triple net lease. Right. Correct. Correct. What he said. Okay. All right. Is there a second to Mr. Second. So motion has been made by Commissioner Eagle to increase the rent on the 1322 Biloxi Highway building to 1850 per square foot and that the lease to remain as a triple net lease. Second by Commissioner Wilson. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Thank you. The meeting is adjourned.